In this video, I will be doing four simple and quick techniques that will give ideas to use for backgrounds in paintings. And I'm gonna start with what I call stamping or printmaking. And for this, I'm gonna be using a thick watercolor paper. And then also I've got this scrap paper, which I usually use printer paper or just paper that's laying around. So I'm gonna start off by painting two pieces of the watercolor paper and they're going to be different colors and as far as stamping it's, I'm not going to be using actual stamps it's just going to be the way that I apply the paint onto the watercolor paper and then also as far as printmaking it just kind of gives it the look of printmaking so I've got the two watercolor papers with paint on them and then now I'm going to be choosing two other colors and so I already had the pink color on there and then I just added the copper so first I'm going with the pink and I'm just going to apply it onto the printer paper or any scrap paper and you want to kind of apply it generously but you don't want it to be too thick and so the paint on the watercolor paper has had time to dry and that's what you want. So I'm just gonna place the printer paper on top of the watercolor paper and then pull it back. And so it kind of gives the look of how it would be with printmaking. And since it wasn't completely dry, the turquoise part, some of it did come off on the scrap paper, but that's fine, it actually looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more And this is a really simple technique that I usually use when I start building a painting up. And so now I'm going to grab another piece of the scrap paper and I'm going to apply the copper color. Again, you want to do it generously, but not too, too thick. And then I'm going to turn it over on top of the watercolor paper. And you want to make sure that when you're placing the scrap paper with the paint facing the watercolor paper. Um, you do want to press down pretty hard and then pull it back up. And I do like to use colors that are kind of opposite, like one kind of light and then one dark. And so that's that technique. Next, I have scraping away paint. And I've got another piece of watercolor paper. So I'm gonna start again, choosing a random color. And I've chosen pink again because it was already there. And then I've also got this black cardstock paper. Um, it's not as thick as a watercolor paper, but I wanted to use this because of the color and I thought that it would pop out more so now I'm taking a safety pin and I'm just kind of scraping away testing that out and I'm just doing different movements trying to pull away some of that paint and this also adds to the texture of the painting so now I'm taking another color and I'm layering it over the first color. And then I'm gonna take an old PayPal credit card that I've cut up and I'm just gonna start scraping away using the edges, using different like strokes and movements. And so on this, you can see the pink underneath. This is one of my favorite things to do. I'm just gonna grab the safety pin again and make some more designs. And then I'm gonna go back to that cardstock paper and put a layer of green over that copper color. 
and I like using these bright colors over the black paper. It really makes it stand out. And I'm gonna grab my trusty safety pin again. And just kind of make random little designs. And then I'm grabbing the lid from some paint that I had before and I'm pressing down and then I'm like pushing away or pulling away as I bring it back up and the same with the card I'm pressing down and then I'm just like scraping different areas and that is the scraping away paint technique and now I'm doing splattering water and pulling away paint. And once again, I have my trusty watercolor paper. And with a lot of these, layering different colors is pretty important. Um, so now I'm just adding to a bigger piece of paper a turquoise color. The first color I did was bronze on the smaller watercolor paper. And then I'm gonna go over that bronze with that bright green. And then I'm going to stick the paintbrush into water and just splatter paint onto that smaller watercolor paper. You don't have to do too much, but you wanna kind of get it all over the paper. And then I'm going to let this sit for about a minute. I want it to dry a little bit, but not completely. And I've got my scrap paper ready to go in a second. And now I'm going to layer a dark blue over the turquoise. And you'll notice I actually am using a hair dyeing brush as a paintbrush. I bought a hair dyeing set and decided not to dye my hair. And, but I wanted to use, keep the brush. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm splattering paint in different areas, but trying to get it all over the paper. And I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. So now I'm gonna grab the scrap paper and I'm gonna lay it over the water splattered piece. And then I'm gonna pull it away. And you can kind of see, you can see the white underneath, but you can also see that bronze color. And then I, I like the way that that looks too, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And now I'm back with the bigger piece and I've got another piece of scrap paper. For this, I'm gonna have to do it half and half because I don't have a big piece of scrap paper, but it's easier to do it that way. So I'm just pressing down and then pulling away. And you'll notice that in some parts, the paint was a little thicker, so it didn't completely pull it away, but you can still see the parts where it did. And I like to keep the scrap paper with the paint on them to make mixed media paper. So now I'm doing the other half. I'm gonna press down and then pull away. And so with this technique, it kind of looks like little bubbles. And I'm actually gonna take the scrap paper, the different pieces, and kind of press down to pull away some more of that paint. And to add a little something to the scrap paper. And usually with these pieces of scrap paper, I'll use it in bigger paintings, um, so I like to hold on to those. But this was a splattering paint and pulling away paint technique. And now I'm doing creating shapes. Now this is a very, very simple technique, but I wanted to do this video to show people who are maybe beginning painting um, different techniques that they could do to give them ideas. And so, again, I've got the watercolor paper and I'm starting out with the black color. And these paintings are usually done, at least for me, on canvas or wood. Um, right now I'm just using this watercolor 
paper to show how to do it and to practice on and you can actually also use mixed media paper to do so and then now I'm doing a purple color on the second piece of paper and for this technique I just like to kind of grab whatever's around to make shapes and I just use things like lids from paint an old paper towel thing I don't know what it's called like the paper towels wrap around it <laughs> and then of course my old credit card and a lid from an old eyeliner and so for this I'm using the lid from some little laundry um, they're called it's called boosters <laughs> like put it in your laundry to make it smell better along with the detergent but this is the lid from one of those so I'm just putting white paint around the edge to make circles And I like the way that the white looks against the black color. And I'm just putting circles in random places. And then now I'm grabbing the lid from an old eyeliner and putting white again. And this obviously has smaller circles. So I try to get different shapes, different sizes. And so I'm using my card again. And I'm dipping it in the paint but you can also use a paintbrush to apply it. And I'm gonna make like a square using the edges. And then a triangle. And this could be really fun to have kids do because it's all about shapes. They can learn their shapes. And then I'm just adding on to the ends kind of make a triangle look and then now I'm using the paper towel roll left over I cut it in half too because it was too long but this just gives another size of a circle and in a lot of my paintings I've noticed that I love using circles I don't know why it just adds a little something and then this is a lid. Um, I can't remember what it's from. It might have been like a conditioner or something. <laughs> and so that's it for the creating shapes. Again, that one was really, really simple. And here are some close-up pictures of each one. So again, it's the stamping slash printmaking scraping away paint, the splattering water and pulling away paint, and then creating shapes. And I will be doing a part two to this video which goes more in depth on how to add texture to paintings. And here's my website where you can find my work.